amongst the socialist uh, Zionists, they were not all cut from the same cloth. Ben Gurion, for example, was quite different from many of many of his colleagues. He was, you see, you have to you have to keep in mind. People like Ben Gurion, who were not at all Torah-oriented, but they all had a background. They all, to some extent, experienced the, the Judaism of the past. In other words, in their home, from, they all went to Cheder. They all went to a to a. They knew what a shul was. They knew what a Cheder. They went to Cheder. They knew something at least about Torah. They there were certain things that they imbibed basically with their mother's milk. They could not. They could not not have known not experienced these things. So they all had a very powerful, strong uh, Jewish identity based on the traditional realities of, of Jewish existence. This is the, the, the fundamental and profound reason why most of these people, when push came to shove, and, and Herzl, who, who was not from Eastern Europe and therefore had much less experience of a, of a cheder, of a, of a shul, he, he was for the Uganda option, right? Theodor Herzl forced, literally forced, the Zionist Congress to vote for the, for the, for the uh, Uganda option. In other words, the Jews should set up a, a homeland for the Jewish people in Uganda. Why? Because the British thought that U Uganda is something we can we can make some deal over there, we'll give it to the Jews, it'll be good for us, good for them, and, and they'll go along with it. And Herzl was willing to go along with it. But most of, most of the people who by that time were active, we're talking about 1903, something like that, Taure Samach Gimel, I think, was the year that, of that vote. Um, most of the Jews were not like himself. He, he came from a, a more assimilated background. They, they, they came from Eastern Europe. All those Eastern Europe Jews, Eastern European Jews, like Ben Gurion, like Katzen Nelson, like, uh, like all these other people, they, they, they couldn't explain lo rationally, logically, why they didn't like the idea, idea of Uganda, but they just didn't. They wanted Eretz Israel. They couldn't really explain why. But, identity. Hmm? Identity. Yeah, there was something, there was this deep Jewish identity, deep rooted. Jewish identity, which they could not shake off, mm -hmm. and that, to, and to them, that meant that you know, this Uganda idea is, is for the birds. It's a, it's not a good idea at all. But Herzl was a powerful figure, so he was able to push this vote through, and he did, and it was accepted by the by the, the Zionist uh, Congress, Congress, and all the all the bureaucracy of, of of Zionism at that time. But then he died suddenly. And guess what? The next thing they did at the next conference was to to uh, to re take another vote on the question. And guess what? The vote was no. We don't want this. We're against this Uganda proposal. We we want. We believe in Zionism, which is Zion, which is Eretz Yisrael. That's what we want. Why? Because they're Jews. Not because they could explain it. Not because they uh, they they said uh, three times a day with the Hazana and then. They didn't say that, but uh, they knew in their, in their, somewhere in their heart, in their gut, that this is how it should be.